my friends, you're welcome. This is soft reason. In this lesson, we are going to be considering how to detail columns just like this, and as well as the footings, and then we will be producing a barbellus schedule using using auto -rebar. In the previous lesson, we were able to produce this one. Uh, we we are able to explain this successfully. So we elevated this uh, particular section from we elevated this particular elevation from this uh, sections of the columns that we actually uh, produced by Benny Shadu from last time. So this is the elevation of the columns. The column is consisting of eight y system. So you can see. And so we use this one single line to represent the the eight y system. All right. And this one is it consists of the 18 y 8 of uh, shear reinforcement at spacing 170 as it is in this uh, in the Babelli schedule. So we are going to be creating the Babelli schedule for this uh, column reinforcement and as well as the starter bar. This is the starter bar from the foundations, all right? And this one is the foundation, all right? This one is the foundation. So the footings uh, is 1.2 and uh, the footings blinding is uh, 50 and then the thickness of the footing is 50. All right, so this is how uh, this footing is being uh, drawn. Okay, so what we'll be doing now is to create a bar bending schedule for this main reinforcement, the starter bar, and as well as the footings uh, rebars. So, what we are going to do is third way. We have uh, actually drawn the main reinforcement, which is this one. This is the one we'll be using to represent the main reinforcement. So it's going to be eight of this one. And ensure that you use a polyline, okay? This one. Because uh, if you do not use that one, the uh, authority bar may not necessarily understand it. Okay. So what we just need to do after having drawn it just like this, that is the length from this top to from this uh, DPC. So because this level is a DPC level, this is my lapped length, okay? So from this DPC to uh, the roof level, right? To the uh, roof beam level is three meter, all right? And this is polyline. I use polyline to draw this. So always use polyline to draw uh, any objects that you need to create a bar bending schedule, all right? So what we do is when we go to this place, you can see P P rebar, okay? Click right there. Then we specify the diameter of the Rebar. So we'll be considering 16 mm diameter rebar for the main reinforcement. You can see we have a 16 right here. So click on enter. Then we will select the polyline, which is this one. Alright, so once you select polyline, it has given us the length of this bar. You can see. Alright. So after you must have done that, we'll have to uh, complete uh, this one by creating the bar bending schedule for it. So what we did do is to give this bar, this one now, a mark. So you come and click on this mark and then select this bar. So once you select this bar, you can now come to these positions and draw just draw a, a line just like this to half this. Okay, so you can see the length is uh, three meter, which is three thousand millimeter. Alright. You can move this down so it will not uh, actually coincide with that. Okay, so you can have this edited in terms of the number and as well as the uh this person. So if I select this now, I come to edit, click right there for the number and having eight of that. Okay. Now for the name, this is main reinforcement, column main reinforcement. So C, C M. I can use C M. Okay. C M. Just like that. Column main reinforcement. Right. So after which, you can now click on. It. Okay. So this is it. You can also uh, reduce the scale. Come to this uh, scaling. Then from 50, I can have a scale of, uh, let's say, 20. All right, enter. So it's becoming too small. All right, you can't go again. Scale. All right, so let me just move this down. So we have created this uh, successfully for the main reinforcement. And for the uh, starter bar, we also create that. Okay, this is starter bar, this one. All right, so we will need to uh, enable the ray bar for that. Okay. So for us to do that, we just have to uh, click on this uh, river again. It's this system diameter we are considering. Enter. Uh, sorry. Click on 
okay by then enter and then select this so you can see the measurement okay this is the crank length the angle of the crank okay so after which you just have to give it a a mark so you select the, the mark right there and pick this so you come all the way next to here here you drag your hand this way to drop this how many of these you are going to edit that you can see the total length is 1693 millimeter select right there and click on edit the number we are considering is just eight and click on okay so you are having this so you can move this one down you can move this one down and then for this take it up just like this so you, you can still uh, check that the load we have there is a crank uh, is a starter bar so you can use st std starter bar to represent starter bar right so that's it uh, so after which the the foundation uh, v bar will be as well uh, generating bar bending should be it just to do that you will straight away uh, go to the p ray bar like that and then for the foundation we will be considering 12 mm diameter and then enter and i will select this area bar the longitudinal ray cutting bar that one right you can see the length of this cutting is uh, 120 and then you can see the total length of the bar by the time you sum the array sum the parameters okay so having that done you just click on the mark right away select it so that you can be able to give it a Cut all the way these provisions, click and drag your hand and paste it. So, we are just to fill in the number of it. So, you can see the total length is 1350 millimeter length. All right, so for the number, uh, we are having in both directions. Okay, so in these directions, how many are we having? So, we may be having um, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 in one direction so in that direction will be 9 times 2 ok which is 18 of this number we are having alright so just select it right away and come to edit then for the number we key in 18 for the note is 18 ok so just put fr 18 with that click on ok so this is it we can also break this one now just like this and then we move this upwards just like this okay so let's just move this one as well to this point right away okay so after i have finished with this you can see we are be able to have a mark for mark number two three four okay the first one is four uh, the main reinforcement column, main reinforcement, second one is the uh, the starter bar, and the third one is the fitting three bar. Okay, so after which is to generate bar bending shading for all of this. So for you to generate bar bending shading for this, you just have to click on this DBS. So just click on this DBS, you can see the changes we have in front of it. So it's the DBS for the uh, bar mark two. Okay, you can see one sixteen, one sixteen for the starter bar. You can see all the bend. And it and will automatically stabilize, right? Including the diameter of the bar, the length, what length, it's what length. Okay, so this is how to create bar bending shading for your columns and elections. We have created for column sections, columns and elections, and as well as foundations. Okay, this is a very bar successful. Right, so in the next lesson, we will be looking at how we can create it for the Using how we can create a bar bending shading for for beams using auto ribbon as well. So stay tuned and bye for now.